City leaders in Raymondville are preparing to assist residents who could potentially find themselves jobless due to the recent uprising at the Willacy County Correctional Facility. This particular prison itself had almost 400 jobs, and those are kind of hard to make up. Raymondville City Manager Eliasar Garcia says the jobs of hundreds of people in the area remain up in the air. Now the Texas Department of Criminal Justice is preparing to launch a job fair in Raymondville to prevent them from being unemployed. We understood that there that they were going to uh, reduce the population there at uh, Willacy and understanding that there uh, could be potentially some people uh, that would need jobs, certainly uh, we look at that. Uh, and so that's certainly part of the reason why we're having hiring expo down there. Garcia says this could be just what the city needs to prevent the city from suffering economically. And we don't know for sure yet who's lost their job or, or what consequences are, are going to come out of what happened here uh, recently at, the, at, our, at our MTC prison. Uh, but uh, it certainly gives them an alternative in case they do uh, uh, have to look for jobs. Jason Clark with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice says the job fair will be held on Saturday, March the 14th and open to anyone in the Valley. Offering a $4,000 sign-on bonus for those that agree to work at an understaffed facility. And two of those facilities that are in your area are going to be McConnell, uh, which is at Evil, as well as um, the Conley unit there in, in Kennedy. Clark says the jobs offered range from parole and correctional officers to maintenance and administrative positions. And while Garcia says it is a great opportunity for the people of Raymondville, he hopes many can find jobs locally to continue living in Willacy County. Hopefully our people won't have to leave, but if they do have to leave, certainly will be detrimental to our community and families that have to move. Uh, but whether or not that has to happen, it's still kind of early to tell yet. Reporting in Raymondville, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.